Hello, fragrant friends. I thought that I'd take you with me on my recent trip to Albania as I sought out to find perfumes while I was there. Albania is a small country in southeastern Europe that has recently begun to open itself a lot more to the outside world. If you took Turkish, Italian, and Greek culture, mixed it all together and created something unique, you'd pretty much have Albania. It's a Mediterranean country where people are warm and extremely welcoming. Part of Albania's past is that it was a dictatorship, sort of like North Korea, but in Europe, where communism took over and the country was isolated from the rest of the world. Over 200,000 of these bunkers were built throughout the country in order to shield the entire Albanian population from outside invasion. Most of them have since been removed, but you can still find a number of them around the country. Now for the sake of this footage, I did step inside a bunker and I can assure you it smells horrible. <laughs> I quickly found out that people often use them as public toilets nowadays. During communism, everyone was surveilled, which means that anyone who could be a potential threat to the system was spied on. This is the inside of one of the larger bunkers in Tirana where photographs of the victims of the communist regime hang in pillars. Here we have the two-headed eagle, the symbol from the Albanian flag. So now let's go find some perfume. The first perfumery I came by is called Euro Perfumery. This place had a nice selection of commercial perfumes, larger brand names, and also a hand-picked selection of more premium brands such as Aqua di Parma, Maison Francis Quickjan, and Etro. This is a place that the more common perfume lover would enjoy. The boutique owner was lovely and she was also very knowledgeable herself. The next boutique that we arrived to is kind of the second tier of the modern perfume lover as I see it, and that is the luxury perfume lover. So this boutique is full of luxury fragrance brands, all that are in the upscale high-end price tag range. And this is brands like Amouage, Sergeoff, Tom Ford, Creed, and so on. And now we move on towards the third tier of perfume lovers. This was a boutique that one of you kindly suggested I check out on Instagram. And this is a place that is for the less branded perfume lover, I would say, or the lover of things that are a little bit more on the daring side. Um, not necessarily the most expensive of things or the flashiest of things, but things that are unique. They had a great curation of brands here that were on the cusp of being daring. They also had some luxury brands such as BDK Parfum, and then they also had more mm, reasonably priced brands, shall we say, like Costume National. I did end up spending the most amount of time in this boutique just because I found more things that I wasn't necessarily familiar with. Um, as you can see, they had a nice mixture of brands. So there's Comme des Garçons, Nazomato, Orto Parisi as well, Min New York, uh, the Pure Distance fragrances, and lots of different options. There's Etadi Boudorange.
and I was really happy to find Mio Fushimi. I had really wanted to try this brand for a long time. There were very dark fragrances that still didn't feel heavy. It's a vibe. This is heaven. This is a brand called Mad at Len that also does more conceptual fragrances. A lot of them are based on resins. They've got some nice musks too. And then there's the usual suspects, eccentric molecules right underneath. So it was cool to see this kind of juxtaposition of more common brands and then less known brands. And then we have Filippo Sorcinelli with his Unum line, which is quite abstract, and also his Extract du Musique line, which is based on the organ. So whichever type of fragrance lover you are, Tirana has something for you. I was very pleasantly surprised that there was such a range of perfumes here. It was not what I had expected at all, and so wherever you travel to, keep your eyes open and you may just find some scented magic. Thanks for coming along with me. Love, Sam. <laughs>